Here is a copy of the target model. Submodel import cannot be undone, so it is recommended to first make a copy of the target model. And this is the submodel that will be imported into the target model. As you can see, the elements in the top left portion of the network are in both models and share the same labels. Notice that the scenario names are identical, but the active topology alternative names are slightly different in each model. The difference being that the submodel active topology alternative name has a hyphen in it. Now I'll import the submodel into the target model. Because the two models had different active topology alternative names, the imported submodel's active topology alternative is added and used for the current scenario. The active topology alternative for the target model remains in the model, but is no longer used by that scenario. At this point you can use the active topology tool to make corrections. The active topology alternative dialog and element flex table could also be used. Now I'll show how to correctly import the submodel so the target model elements do not turn inactive. Here I've reverted to the original version of the target model. I'll edit the alternative name so that it is identical with the submodel's alternative name. Now I can import the submodel. And as you can see, the submodel elements as well as the target elements are all active in the model.